open as it is to eat. The Dole Pistachio. Each one so perfect, so warm, so tasty, presenting the most fun nut. For the pick of pistachios, the difference is Dole, naturally. Violence, hatred, and rock and roll, tonight at 11. Hi, my name is Jennifer Keegan. My mommy and I aren't home, so you're just going to have to talk to Mr. Beep. Thank you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy fourth birthday to you, babe. Happy birthday, dear Jennifer. You're such a big girl now. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Jenny. Dad loves you more than anything in this world. I'm going to see you real soon. You be a good girl and take care of your mom. Sandy, give me a call when you get in. We need to go over. Five minutes. Please do not be tardy. Anyone seen Keegan? Don't burn your fingers. Who was it? Well, he's a student. He's too old. A not? Yeah, he would have busted us. Teacher? No way. Please fill out all three copies verifying receipt of your temporary teacher's certificate. Then return them to me, ASAP, so they can be filed with the district. Mr. Keegan, so glad you could join us. I see your punctuality hasn't improved since you were a student here. The only difference is now I don't get detention. There's another difference you may have overlooked. When you were a student, I couldn't fire you. Afraid I wouldn't show up? Oh, you better show up after all the trouble I went through to get you here. Did you make it to the orientation? Yeah. Devin gave me some static for being late, but he'll get over it. Try to stay on his good side if you can. It'll make both of our lives a lot easier. Hi. Come on, Mr. Keegan. I'll walk you to your class. How's Jenny? Great. I was surprised to hear about you and Sandy. I thought you two had a lot going for you. You did. I guess it was just going in opposite directions. Life is like that sometimes. It's my life, anyway. Hi, Miss Walker. Look, uh, Emily, I, I want to thank you again for getting me this job. I know you went out on a limb for me. I wasn't going to hand over the school paper to just anybody. You were the best editor I ever had. If you don't count those few issues that almost got me fired my first year teaching. Was I that bad? Yes. Yes, you were. But boy, could you get fired up for an editorial. If you can spark that kind of passion in your students, you're going to be a great teacher. Well, you know, you made me an offer I couldn't refuse. What was that? 50% cut in pay for a chance to do something with my life. <laughs> What's all this? Journalism for the 80s. Pretty cool, huh? This what are you talking about? I'm talking about converting the old kangaroo courier into a video newscast. We'll beam it out to all the classrooms on the closed-circuit TV system. Wait a minute, we're not beaming anything anywhere. Would you shut that thing off? Now, where'd you get all this stuff? I calm a local cable station into donating the cameras. The rest is left over for my have video, will travel days. And what about the student paper? It's still here. We're just plugging in the electricity, that's all. Kevin, these kids watch too much TV as it is. Would you shut that thing off? They don't need to be producing more of their own. Well, that's where you're wrong. Look how you're acting. You know why? Because you're on the spot and you can't hide. 
that's what I want to do. I want to get these kids in front of the lens where they can't hide what's going on inside. That sense of reality is something the old student paper couldn't touch in a million years. All I need is a chance to make it work. You're serious about this. You bet. Well, I don't know. I mean, it couldn't interfere with any of your other classes. You've still got four periods of plain old English to teach. I'll deal with it. And you'd have to clear everything you put out with Stedman, just like it was the paper. No problem. The man loves me. <laughs> oh, I must be losing my mind. Does this mean we're doing it? All right. <laughs> we'll try it once and see what happens. Thanks. This means a lot to me. I'll work everything out from my end. But only if you point that camera somewhere else. Hey, but it's yourself. If anybody's hiding out, it's you. One more thing. Don't blow it, Keegan. I'll be your tour guide for this semester's trip through adventure. Please, keep your hands and feet inside the boat at all times, as these are shark-infested waters. Just don't blow it, Keegan. Save up to $1,500 on select models with cash back and option packages. Careful with that stuff. I think you got a cavity. That is disgusting. No, false alarm. Just a booger on the screen. Ew. <laughs> All right, you guys, grab a chair. We've seen enough uvula for today. Uvula? Where? Need some help? No, thanks. I'm okay. Excuse me, is this the newspaper? No, uh, but you're in the right place. We're gonna be doing something a little different. What's with the video rig? You mean besides free dental checkups? <laughs> I got a little something to show you. How do you do, everyone? We're greeting you now from the Naval Air Base at Lakehurst, New Jersey, from which point we're going to bring you a description of the landing of the mammoth airship Hindenburg. 
which was due here in America this morning at dawn, completing the first pass of landing. Class is this? TV 101? Come in or go out. Uh, I'm looking for the school paper. So are we. Find a seat. All right. I like this class already. You watch an example of what television does best. Record reality. Preserve a moment in time so we can experience it for ourselves. We have lift off. Maybe even learn something. Now that's what we're going to be doing in this class. Instead of cranking out the old courier, you will write, shoot, and edit a TV news program to be broadcast for the whole school. Now, uh, it may be a while before a blimp crashes nearby, so we'll concentrate on what's happening here in Rosemont. We get to be on TV? Yeah. Oh, nice. come on. Only if you got something to say. We need people behind the camera, too. What do we report on? That's what you report on. Yourselves. Your fellow students, teachers, parents, life at Roosevelt High, life in the real world, what you like, what you want to change, what bugs you. Yeah, I can see it now. What bugs me? The miniseries. <laughs> <laughs> miniseries might have to wait. Now, if everything goes according to plan, we've got a five-minute broadcast every morning, Monday through Thursday, with 15 minutes on Friday. There's even a public access TV slot open on cable, if you earn it. Can we do sports? Anything that's important to you. I want this newscast to reflect what's really going on out there. Oh, come on, man. You're not going to let us show what's really going on out there. Try me. So when do we start? First broadcast is uh, two weeks from Friday. <laughs> right now, we're all going to take turns on the hot seat. Introduce ourselves for the camera. Not for broadcast, just for you and me. Help me to get to know you a little better. You might even get to know yourselves a little better. I'll go first. Who wants to operate? I'll do it. You know how to work one of these things? Stand back. I'm a professional. <laughs> you got me? Yeah, babe. Action. Hi, my name's Kevin Keegan. I'm 29 years old, divorced with a kid. This is my first teaching gig. Sherman Lemuel Fisher. Amanda Hampton. <laughs> Chuck Bender. Monique. Checker. Penny Lipton. Holden Hines, 11th grade. Um, I was a photographer on the school paper last year, but now I'm in this video thing because it drives the chicks wild. Head cheerleader, student council treasurer, president of the Glee Club, honor all eight straight semesters, junior class princess. It's my sincerest desire to provide sports coverage for the discriminating fan here at Roosevelt. <laughs> Vance Checker, secret agent, posing as an international jet-setting playboy in 11th grade. Monique what? Just Monique. The coach told me to take the easiest English class I could find, and this was all that was left. I'm very excited by the opportunity this class project will give us to at least attempt to be heard and make a difference. Together, I hope we can make it cool to be informed. I'm not gonna do it. Just give us your name, your rank, and your serial number. Come on, you're the last one. Marty Voigt. Cartoons and computers. All right, tune in tomorrow. Same time, same channel. Sandy? Hey, you there. I thought I'd get the machine again. Is Jenny up? I don't have much to say. Sniffles. Now, I guess you better not wake her if she's sick. What's that? Oh, good, you got it. Yeah, I know, just take it. I had a good month. Buy Jenna Jackets. Me? Things are going great. Couldn't be better. Except I miss Jenny. I know. I know. I know, but that's gonna be a long way off. I don't need to say much more. Uh huh. Just the same old well known story. Look, I gotta go. Could you do me a favor? If I call right back, could you let the machine pick it up? I just wanna hear her voice again. Thanks.
love to cook. Someday I'll teach you how to make a spaghetti sauce from scratch. I already know. You open the jar and pour it. No. I mean the DeLuca secret sauce. Secret? You take the ripest tomatoes, the perfect blend of oregano, basil, garlic, and onion, and let it simmer till it's thick, thick, thick. The thicker, the better. But that's the way Raku makes thick and hearty. So why are we whispering? <laughs> First fishing trip, and this fever hit. But I know the children's Tylenol is already working. Children's Tylenol, to bring fever down fast. I wouldn't trust anything else for you. It's the one most pediatricians give their own children. Why trust anything else? Headaches, backaches. The pain reliever unbeaten for all these everyday ailments is Tylenol. And Tylenol won't irritate your stomach like aspirin or even ibuprofen can. So choose Tylenol. It's tough on pain, easy on your stomach. Nissan has developed a new high-performance sports car with a modified Z-car engine, anti-sway bars front and rear, and anti-lock brakes. The cockpit was designed for one six-foot-two-inch driver and four six-foot-two-inch passengers. Introducing the new Nissan Maxima, the four-door sports car. States Army. They're highly trained. You know, this is the cold and flu season. They're heavily armed. You're a lean, mean, And they're ready to serve. Bunk with Bill Murray, John Candy, and John Larroquette in Stripes, tonight on CBS. Take her out on the occasional date. A producer's daughter is part of the deal. Will Johnny agree? Well, look, Mr. Ballantyne, I have the feeling that you could be a successful dancer on Broadway. Dirty Dancing. Users of intravenous drugs are the main avenue which will spread AIDS further. If you have a loved one in this high-risk group, help them get help. It's no laughing matter. Now, the important thing to remember is don't start recording until you've got a good shot. Holden, you go for a tight close-up. Um, Sherman, right? Okay, you go a little wider uh, for a medium shot, like from the waist up. Um, it's all fuzzy. Just keep it on out of focus, Mr. McGood. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, Penny, use the power zoom and widen all the way out. There you go. So, we have a close-up, a medium shot, and a wide angle. Hopefully, when we cut this together later, one of these will always be worth looking at. Everybody with me so far? Sort yeah. of. <laughs> Rolling. Let's try to shoot a report. Who wants to be Geraldo Rivera? Nobody? Geraldo, you're here. <laughs> Talking to me? You just volunteered to be our first on-camera reporter. Sorry, I've already scheduled a little nap for today. Sleep on your own time, Checker. Right now, we're learning something. Here. Like I said, Mr. Keegan, anything I can do to help. <laughs> Principal Stedman, devoured by pit bulls. Phil, middle 11. <laughs> <laughs> Think of a real report. Like what? There's a million stories out there. Let's track one down. All right, news hounds, I want everyone to repeat with me your primary objective when covering a story. Don't break the camera. Well, it looks like we've got our first blooper, huh? <laughs> Hello, boys and girls. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Vance Checker, and welcome to another installment of Know Your Janitor. Um, this week, we're going to be rapping with one of the giants of the hygiene industry, Skip the Janitor. Is this safe, Penny? No, Amanda, it's not safe. That's the point. Uh, great, great, wonderful, Penny. If I get a run in my hose, look. Ugh. Oh, gross. Now, that's it, Penny. I'm not going any further. My heels okay. are sticking into this goo and heel. Okay, this is it. Ugh. Now, 
start tight on me, and then zoom out so we can see everything. Ready? Welcome to Roosevelt High's very own toxic waste dump. Fighting kangaroos have almost surrendered as JV halfback Garth Kemp was thrown for another 10-yard loss. As a mere pundit on the sideline, I can only wonder why Coach Funston refuses to change offensive strategy. What do you think, Shaq? Uh, I think we're getting our butt kicked. Amanda Hampton reporting from this week's student council meeting. Class president Tad Thurston has just called the meeting to order. What a bond. Catastrophe strikes Roosevelt High. Hundreds die of boredom. Roving reporter Vance Checker here with an emergency news update. Students are dropping like flies here at Roosevelt, wiped out in a wave of boredom-related deaths by the silent killer schoolwork. What's this? Another DOA from Spanish class. Wait a minute. This one's still alive. Party! Party! <laughs> Boredom claims another young life. Almost done, Mr. Keegan. Hey, these graphics look great. They give us a real professional touch. What's in here? Cartoons and stuff. Can I look? I guess. Maximum Max? It's just a cartoon strip I've been messing around with. It's about a mysterious kid in school who can fly. But the deal is, he can only fly when nobody's looking. So it gets him in all kinds of trouble. You're very talented, Marty. I wouldn't be so shy about showing your work to people. It's too good. How long have you been into all this stuff? Three years. I couldn't even draw before I had my accident. You know? We should bring this guy, Maxima Max, to life. What's up? You old man boots you out again? Yeah, I found some zigzags in my jacket and freaked on me. Well, at least you didn't find your stash. Can I crash in your van? <laughs> yeah, I told you, man, any time. Hang on, I'll grab a sleeping bag. I should charge you rent, man. Put it on my tab. You got your sleeping bag. You got your tunes. We got nowhere else to go. As long as you're here, you want to do a bowl? You might as well. Not like you can get in any more trouble. Got that right. Strange world, ain't it? Ain't strange enough, you ask me. I don't know about that. I mean, my old man kicks me out of the house for having rolling papers. And I end up over here getting stoned. Sometimes life don't make a whole lot of sense. I hear you, man. That's why I quit trying to figure it out a long time ago. I've got a problem with a kid in journalism. I know he's smart because he's funny, a real wise guy. Man, does he have a wall built up around him? Vance Checker? How'd you know? I had him in basic comp during the summer. He's a bright kid who's blowing a ton of potential because he has a bad attitude and no respect for authority. 
I passed him with a D, but only on the condition that he take your class in the fall. Is this your idea of poetic justice? <laughs> oh, you bet. I hope he gives you every bit as much trouble as you gave me. Maybe you'll both learn something. You're setting pretty high standards for the kid, aren't you? <laughs> now remember, this isn't Pac-Man, so easy does it on the joystick. Okay, creep up on the frame you want to cut at. Mark it. Next, a little rock and roll to find out where you want to cut in at. We mark that as our in. Press preview, and away we go. Um, this week, we're going to be rapping with one of the giants of the hygiene industry. Skip the janitor. Skip, at what point did you know that um, you were bound for greatness in the world of janitorial art? When my unemployment ran out. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it, to what do you attribute your success? To rubber gloves and healthy respect for germs. <laughs> it's too bad we didn't have a close-up of some germs. Just get a camera over to the cafeteria. He's got plenty of cooties there. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I want each of you to lay in a shot. Don't worry about making it perfect. Just get a feel for the joystick. Right. What's the next shot? Oh, uh, Skip demonstrates proper broom technique. Yeah, do it. Right? You're going too far. Yeah, I can't do it. All right, stop. All right, all right. All right. All right. Be sure Bye, Mr. Keegan. See you Bye, Mr. Keegan. Uh, not so fast, Sleepyhead. I want to talk to you. Busted. What? I want you to quit getting stoned before you come to my class. <laughs> Man, what is this, a bust? No, but it will be. You got it all wrong, Mr. Keegan. I was just tired, that's all. Look, save that line for Stedman, okay? I can tell when somebody's loaded. The rest of the class spent the first period laughing their heads off learning how to edit. Laughing at your jokes. And you were out cold in the corner. Can't you even stay awake to listen to yourself? Look, I didn't get much sleep last night, all right? So I crashed for a while during your little video thing. So what? You think I care? I don't know. You tell me. Come on, sugar. Can I go now? Yeah, get out of here. Mary Phillips, they're waiting for your report. Poor Phillips. She took a cold medicine for her stuffy nose and now she's getting drowsy. If only she could go back and take Sudafed instead. You see, fast-acting Sudafed starts to work in as quick as 22 minutes without drowsiness. So you don't get drowsy, you get relief. Hurry, Phillips, they're waiting for your report. Let's go. Sudafed, for fast relief without drowsiness. Looking for whole wheat total? Or shredded wheat. You'll need 12 boxes to equal the vitamin and mineral nutrition in just one box of total. No other cereal has more. I think I'll have uh, total, sweetheart. Total. If it's whole wheat total, it's total nutrition. Sunmade, America's favorite race. My girl. TV 101 will continue. Are you ready? For dangerous affairs. You gonna get dressed? What's the point? Damaging evidence. You're in trouble because we know who you are. And blackmail. Today, I go through those doors with 100,000. Are you ready for Knott's Landing? How do you know my wife? Thursday at 10. Saturday. Miranda's fantasies keep her moving from dusk till dawn as she tries a little dirty dancing of her own on Raising Miranda, Saturday on CBS. This is CBS. We'd like you to have breakfast with us tomorrow. Need an invitation? Ounce for ounce, Philly has half the calories of butter or margarine. First Jersey National Bank is changing its name to National Westminster Bank. Five years ago, 
Toshiba introduced the world's first flat square picture tube. Since then, one by one, nearly every TV manufacturer has abandoned their tubes for change to the standards set by Toshiba, which leaves you with a choice. Buy a standard TV set or buy the TV that set the standard. The road to danger for Atlantic City tourists at 11. Now, I better not. Keegan's a bust. I don't believe you, man. I score a six or a malt liquor and a quarter OZ a tie stick and you're gonna go to class? Come on, let's get him. Give it a rest, Jerry. Still hung from last night, man. Follow the beard, that'll straighten you out. Just thinking about it makes me want to barf a six-pack, cans and all. So what? Now that you're damn rather you can't get stoned? I gotta go. All the more for me. Never thought I'd see you wuss out, Yo, though, man. I ain't wussing out. Save some for later. There ain't gonna be no later, man. Come tonight, this will all be history. <laughs> Till we get some more. Really, Edward, there must be some room for compromise here. I've compromised enough letting this program happen at all. You must excise the board of nonsense in its entirety and make the alterations we discussed in Miss Lipton's story. You really expect me to have her change the words toxic waste to big mess? Big mess? Mm-hmm. And remove the shot with all that refuse in the background. Nobody wants to see that stuff. Have her give her report from in front of the azaleas by the library. They're in bloom, you know. So she should go stand in front of some flowers and do a report about a big mess we never see? What kind of story is that? Oh, I see your point. If she's standing in front of flowers, then the whole big mess thing makes no sense. Have her report on something altogether different. Something up, something happy. I came here to teach kids how to communicate. I did not come here to teach him how to crank out public relations babble for Roosevelt High. This has nothing to do with you. Student activities cannot mock authority or exceed the boundaries of good taste. If this is an example of teaching kids to communicate, that video equipment could be put to much better use as part of my anti-vandalism surveillance system. Surveillance system? You're joking, right? He's joking, right? Mr. Keegan. I am not now, nor have I ever been, a humorist. Make the cuts, or the show's canceled. Big mess? But that ruins the whole point. It's not a mess. It's a carcinogenic time bomb. That's stupid. Yeah, it melted my heels. I mean, we're talking major grossness here? Yeah. There's more. So we have to cut the entire boredom report. What? Oh, you're kidding. Oh, no, 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 no. I knew it. Should have split when I had the chance. No way, man. You can't cut that. And the least we should get is a blooper. I demand a blooper. Yeah, what about our blooper rights? Yeah. Guys, shut up about your blooper. This is serious. Penny's right. There's a much bigger issue involved here than what you say on a student broadcast, and that's whether or not you've got the right to say it. And we've got an important decision to make. As far as Stedman's concerned, either we make the cuts or he cancels the show. And what happens if he cancels the show? You could appeal to the Board of Education, but uh, they hired Stedman in the first place, so it's unlikely they'll reverse his decision. Look. I say we take Stedman hostage till we get a blooper. Yeah. 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 Can we sue him? Sure. Yeah. yeah. The ACLU might take your case. What Stedman is doing could be ruled prior restraint, and that's illegal. Several student newspapers have won similar lawsuits. And if that's what you want, I'll back you all the way. All right. All right. Of course, by the time the case is settled, you'll all be in college. So what you're saying is we're burned any way you look at it? I don't like it any more than you do. But we've got to accept the fact that Stedman has final say over everything we televise here on campus. What about off campus? Wait a minute. Don't we still have a time slot on public access? Yeah. Well, can Stedman stop us from finishing the show and putting it on public access ourselves? I don't know. The rules haven't caught up with the technology. There's one way to find out. When is our time slot? 7.30 to 7.45, Friday night. Whoa, that's the day after tomorrow. Perfect. That's enough time to finish the show and spread the word. Flyers. We need flyers and, and posters. Dare to tune in. Uncut and uncensored. Journalism 101. I'll design it. Okay. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
Journalism 101, is that what we're gonna call it? Yeah, we need a better name. Let's do like TV 101. We gotta let people know this is a class. That way if the show barks the big wolf, we got an excuse. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I got my book. Me too. TV 101, the newscast they didn't want you to see. All right. Yeah. about to cross a line here. I want everyone to be sure this is what you want to do. We can still make the cuts. Give me video or give me death. Let's do it. <laughs> now, you're joking, right? Nope, they're doing it. Penny Lipton already called the cable station and confirmed our time slot. Stedman is going to go through the roof when he hears about this. Yeah? Well, too bad. He shouldn't have underestimated these kids. Somehow they got it in their heads that the First Amendment pertained to them, too. I wonder who gave them that idea. Why do I get this sneaking suspicion that deep down you are actually enjoying this whole thing, particularly Bugging Stedman? I have to admit, Bugging Stedman does have entertainment value. It's more than that. These kids have got something to say. Something that's just as real as anything I could teach them. Sure, you gotta wade through a lot of teenage goofiness to find a small bit of wisdom, but it's there. I know it is. Let's hope you find it by Friday night. Trouble. What is it? Looks like Vance Checker's about to get busted. Don't touch me. I'm not going anywhere with you. What are you doing here? Damn it, Vance, you are not in trouble. I came by to give you a ride home. I have something to tell you. Well, tell it to me here, because I'm not going anywhere with you. Is there some problem, officer? Nothing that concerns you. This is a family matter. It's OK. He's my dad. What do you got to say? It's so important. You got to come here and embarrass me in front of everybody. Your friend Jerry Peterson is dead. He wrapped his van around the center divider about an hour ago. He was killed on impact. They found empty beer cans and dope scattered through what was left of the van. You're lying. Jerry's not dead. You're lying. I heard the description of the van, and I thought for sure you'd be with him. I was afraid you'd be dead, too. Shut up. Just shut up. Come on, you're going home with me. Get away from me. Go ahead. Keep doing what you're doing. You're going to wind up like your friend. This is the police squad. <gasps> Leslie Nielsen. O.J. Simpson. <laughs> this is not the police squad. Priscilla Presley. <laughs> Ricardo Montalban. Mikhail Gorbachev. I knew it. And Reggie Jackson in his first dramatic role. The Naked Gun from the files of police squad. Everyone should have a friend like you. Rated PG-13. Starts Friday, December 2nd at theaters everywhere. Patsy and I take turns with each other's kids. Thank goodness for Chef Boyardine. It's 95% fat-free, and that makes me feel good. Not as good as when it's Patsy's turn, but thank goodness for Chef Boyardee. Some people perspire. We sweat. You need Arid Double X Protection with the new non-whitening cleaner formula. It's the only leading solid that doesn't leave a white, flaky mess. Arid Double X helps keep us extra. Extra dry. When future slipper experts are in basic training, they warm up with one of the warmest slippers around, Isotoner Booties. Isotoner Booties gently massage as they hug your feet, so they're perfect for feet that get dog tired. So this holiday, deliver Isotoners, and you'll deliver on comfort. Isotoner Warm Line Booties, the gift of comfort. 
an accident? I killed a man tonight. Cliff D. Young and Karen Ballantyne guest in... Veritable hotbed of international intrigue. On Murder, She Wrote. Then they stole his freedom. One man in ten is to be shot. He bought another man's life. I'll take your place. I have a mother and a sister. I can make a will. Now he has two identities. One she loves. One she has sworn to kill. Anthony Hopkins, Kristen Scott Thomas, The Tenth Man, Sunday. What is this? TV 101, the newscast they didn't want you to see. Nice layout and design, don't you think? When you cancel their program here at school, the students got together and decided to do their own thing for cable. Personally, I think it shows a lot of initiative, and I support their decision. I mean, as long as they don't charge for it, they have a right to broadcast their program anywhere they want, except for here at school, of course. All right, Keegan, do you want to play legal games and broadcast the show? Fine. Great. Go ahead, I won't stop you. In fact, I'll get as many people as I can to watch, particularly members of the school board. When they see just what kind of subversive swill you're producing, I should have no trouble convincing them to put an end to this video anomaly of yours. I may have my surveillance system sooner than I thought. Here you go, Mr. Stedman. All right, you guys. We got a newscast here. Let's get cracking. Have you seen Vance? No, but I hope he's okay. According to this, we show Vance Checker absent all six periods. Did anybody call us home to see if he was really sick? Four times. No answer. His father was contacted at work, and he said he hadn't seen Vance since yesterday afternoon. Evidently, the boy didn't go home last night. Well, how about his mom? Deceased. Damn. Hmm. Well, thanks. I need to see, and I don't want to go alone. Just keep looking. You got every right to be torn up. Your friend is dead. Hurting yourself won't change that. Getting wasted won't change that. Jerry's life is over. Now you've got to pull yourself together and think about where you go from here. He was my best friend! I man. know! And it's gonna hurt for a long time. But that pain means something. It means you're alive. You decided not to go get high and you live. Hang on to that, man, because you're gonna need it.
You gonna be all right? I should have told him something. I said something when I had the chance. I keep thinking this wouldn't have happened. Maybe somebody else needs to hear what you've got to say. What do you mean? There's some tape left in this camera. Sure, the members of the board. The subversive nature of this student television broadcast poses a clear and present danger to order and discipline at Roosevelt High. Fifteen seconds. Stand by, everyone. You okay? Yeah, thanks. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Five, four, three, two. Roll the opening. of Cable Land Television, live on public access, it's TV 101, Roosevelt High School's number one censored newscast. Cue them. I'm Penny Lipton. And I'm Vance Checker. Welcome, Welcome to, to TV 101. 101. Um, our first story tonight is about something that really stinks up Roosevelt High. And I'm not talking about my gym locker. Ready to roll. Here's Penny with the facts. I wish it was just a matter of your smelly gym socks, Vance. But TV 101 has uncovered something far more hazardous to the health of students and faculty Gold alike. Tape. Welcome to Roosevelt High's very own toxic waste dump. I'm reporting from a place on campus very few of us know existed, even though many of us can smell it on a bad day, and all of us are potentially at risk because of it. Have you been warned that many of these chemicals are carcinogenic? Well, let's just say I wouldn't go spreading any of the slime on my toast for breakfast. Roll tape. I think so. I don't know. Say something. Checker, your kid's on TV. Oh, no. What happened? Nothing happened. He's a, a reporter on some kind of weird newscast. Huh? Look. Vance, why don't you introduce the sport? Right. Uh, coming up on TV 101, Chuck Bender and Sherman Fisher with sports. Coach Wellington seems to have some of the best varsity football talent Roosevelt has seen in years. Yet during last week's loss to Central, the flabby defense had more holes than Swiss cheese. And our offense was a bad joke, unable to execute even the most basic pass play. Chuck, as a key member of the varsity squad, surely you have some insight as to why the team is performing so miserably. Yeah, the only problem with the ruse is geeks like you that don't show enough spirit. So shut up before I stomp your face. <laughs> Thank you for that insight, Chuck. And now for last week's score. Varsity football, Central defeats Roosevelt 24 to three. Junior varsity, Central defeats Roosevelt 35 to seven. They're almost through with sports. 
You gonna make it? Yeah, I'm okay. Girls volleyball today, Roosevelt 15, West 12. Way to go, ladies. And that's it for sports. As many of you know, a student from Roosevelt High named Jerry Peterson was killed Wednesday in an automobile accident. Here with a few thoughts on the death of his friend, is Vance Checker. A few thoughts. I never realized what a luxury it is to have a few thoughts. To be thinking, to be alive. My friend, Jerry Peterson, doesn't have that luxury anymore. He's dead. Roll tape. Jerry and I started hanging out in seventh grade. We'd cut class and grab a smoke during PE. Bug teachers, crack jokes. We got into a ton of trouble together. It was great. We also started getting high together. After a while, that was pretty much all we did. This is Jerry Peterson's van. He was killed instantly when he drove into a center divider. Jerry had been driving towards that concrete wall for a long time. I should know, I was riding shotgun with him almost all the way. Jerry didn't deserve this. But he caused it. We both did. The day he got killed was just like any other day. We were gonna cut class, catch a buzz, drive around. For some reason, I don't know why, I chose not to go with Jerry that day. I didn't know it then, but I was making a choice to live. Every time I decide not to drive drunk or high, I'm making a choice to stay alive. Maybe even save someone else's life. I just wish my friend didn't have to die for me to see that. I'm gonna miss him. That's it, I'm through. Jerry Peterson's funeral is tomorrow, 9 a.m. at St. Francis Church. That's our newscast for tonight. Thanks for tuning in. Roll in credits. That was something. Hey, Vance, wait up. Uh, Keegan, going for you. Emily, you want to get that? Hey, where are you going? See you Monday. that old people meter, huh? Yeah. Is Vance okay? Yeah. I think he just wants to be by himself. Congratulations, everyone. Thank Thanks, Ms. Walker. Phone, I completely forgot. Oh, no problem. I dealt with it. Well, who was it? Uh, president of the school board. Evidently, Stedman had them convene a special meeting to view the show. And? And they agree with most of Stedman's reservations. Oh. But they feel that the program showed enough talent and merit to continue.
fucked up. You want to get something to eat? who get beautiful gifts from J.C. Penney's fine jewelry sale want everyone who'll give them to know that we didn't want anything special and you really shouldn't have. But we think it and you are just beautiful. Save on select diamonds and stone rings. Seiko, Pulsar, Bulova, and Citizen watches. Cultured and freshwater pearls. 14 karat gold chains, charms, and earrings. We bring out the Santa in you. J.C. Even if you wash your hair every day, you're probably not getting it really clean. That's why there's Germac Reviving System. Its salon-formulated shampoo removes over 90% of the combined residue from most shampoos, conditioners, and styling products. Germac Reviving System. When you get a head cold, your head's in a fog. That's why there's Actifed, the head cold medicine, to help stop your runny nose and sneezing, help clean your stuffy head. Actifed. It lifts the fog of a head cold. Please fill in the space. Which car has the largest list of standard luxury features of any car in its class? Which car has more front leg room than any car in its class? Which car? This car. The new Honda Civic LX four-door sedan. Just fill in the space. Classic crunchy shape lets the milk burst through and the timeless taste stay in. Checks the classic crunch. Checks party mix. Any way you make it, it makes the party. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Checks mix. So we pulled off our first newscast and it wasn't too bad. Now what? Well, just don't abuse the technology. I've got an assignment. We'll call everything you wanted to know about teenagers, but we're afraid to ask. Hell, people of Earth, do not be afraid. We come in peace to study your school. It's a war out there, ladies and gentlemen. What about my journalistic integrity? It's covered with spaghetti. I'm dropping your class. Why? Let's go. Come on, listen up. Today on, there will be no more demonstrations or test rooms. Everything you learn from here on out, you will learn in the course of shooting and editing your reports. Now, I hope you've all done what I asked and give some serious thought to what you're going to do. Now, before you go out in the field, I want everyone to repeat with me your primary objective when covering a story. Don't break the camera. 